Hello everybody, my name is Nick and you are watching Photo Lit Unboxing video for the Film World Live Pro L1. When we open the box, on this side here we have instruction manual and uh, that's it. Here we have the actual mixer. Then beneath here, here we have USB A to A cable. And then here we have the power charger, uh, or actually power adapter, uh, with two plug uh, adapters, uh, European and this is the American one. Okay, so on this side we have HDMI inputs 1, 2, 3 and 4 and HDMI output. On this side we have uh, LAN connection, uh, USB, audio in and audio out. Something that's uh, very nice about this feature and that's a great benefit for this feature is the, the ability to have both HDMI output and USB output. This means that we can have, for instance, on the USB side connected uh, one PC on which we would look all of the feeds and on the uh, side of the uh, HDMI output we would just uh, send a signal uh, to wherever, be it Facebook, YouTube or wherever we are going live. Also nice feature is that uh, this uh, is usually detected as the uh, webcam, which is very, very nice, at least on the Windows 10. Uh, also very nice feature is the transition bar. Of, uh, now when it comes to transition, we have few effects. Uh, we have we had the ability to change uh, what transition effect we are using. But more important, we have this mode. Uh, this is where we change it between fast transition and uh, T-bar. Uh, now, let me just uh, go back. Uh, for instance, I'm changing between 2 and 4 HDMI signal and I'm changing. I'm changing back. Very nice feature. Uh, be it basically how fast we are moving this uh, bar this will uh, select how fast we are transitioning. Now also nice feature is that this will just take any signal from consoles or a PC or camera and then just give it output at uh, well basically full HD at 60 frames per second. Now uh, something that is a bit of a problem is that we cannot for instance select it, uh, let's say channel 3 and channel 1 uh, channel 1 is my camera, channel 3 is the console. I cannot select it to take both audio from each channel, but rather it will take audio from the channel that I'm uh, on right now. Uh, this is not really that great for gamers or something like along those lines. But po for podcast, be that we have transition bar, it's uh, a lot better than something like Aten Mini. Uh, when it comes to that ability to have it, uh, let's say, audio on channel 1 and channel 3, uh, taken from both channels, uh, regardless on which channel we are streaming from uh, right now. Uh, Atem Mini Pro, for instance, uh, has this ability, so that's something that uh, you should keep in mind when choosing your particular switcher. Now, Auto Sync feature is very important because video on the HMI channels is usually a bit behind bit, uh, when compared to audio on the line in because there's not, nothing to process there or virtually nothing compared to a video. Uh, so that's the very nice feature that we have on this particular device. 